Hi everyone, it's Tamba Ramba here and I'm sharing another Art by Marlene journal page with you today. Um, this one is a nice bright one and she's a sweet little girl who's going to change her thoughts and change her world. So just excuse my voice today, I've actually been quite unwell and I'm going to try and get through this without coughing. And also please excuse the videoing, I um, because I've been unwell I actually ended up doing this late at night. Um, after sleeping all day so there's a little bit of shadow and can't do much about it okay so the first thing I did was um, obviously go through the extra extra large collector's book golden oldie and found that little face that I love so much and grabbed her out um, then you'll see I grabbed just some leftover scraps so they're just a few of the different um, papers from her Marlene's collage book so just what I had left over and what I did is out of um, a ma uh, not a mask a um, die cut called moon gaze from the out of this world collection which is cd83 i actually grabbed the circle um, and cut some circular shapes out of the the collage collage paper i really love cutting things with the collage paper um with your die cuts because it's lovely and thin and it just it's so clean it never misses anything okay so um um, what have I forgotten to tell you so I've grabbed out um, those pieces and oh yes and then her dress so just with a little bit of leftover paper from the collage sheet I kind of just created a little dress to go with her head okay so now I've grabbed out some paint colors and I've gone first of all I went with ballet which is pink a bit of mermaid which is aqua some happy which is yellow and then some smurf which is the deep blue and I decided to push myself this time because they're kind of my go-to colors and I decided to add in uh, hot curry which is orange because there was just a bit of orange peeking through some of the papers okay so I put it down as you can see it's quite bold on the page and I was worried that she would get lost in the background so to, ma to help her to stand on top of the background I've then just taken some white paint which is called lace and painted that all over the top and then you have to work really quickly because the paint dries quite quickly um, I've grabbed an old crafters workshop stencil that Marlene designed um, I think it's called botanical dream TCW 780 and um, I have actually lifted that white paint off through the stencil um, so what it does is it just gives you a bit of a wash over it with a little bit of a pattern so it's a, just a nice way of pushing that background into the, you know pushing it into the background a little bit more okay so then I just got some of the smurf paint and just flicked basically some paint around um, so now I've grabbed a, a stamp this is oh, one of my faves of hers and it's called uh, mandala movement and it's stamped bm46 and it's really fine and beautiful so what i'm doing is using some different colored distress um i think they're distress oxides that i'm using uh yes they are i am trying to match the colors that i've used in the background so i grabbed an orange and you'll see i stamped it just where the orange is on the background and i did the same for the pink and the blue Occasionally you'll see me grab out a piece of paper and I'm just using that as a mask so I, I just don't want the colours to be all over everything. I actually want it to be, you know, for oranges to go together and your blues to go together and that will just give the page some balance otherwise it'll look like a hot mess. So masking off is good just to keep those colours contained. Okay, so now I've brought the girl back onto the page and I kind of think, yep, I like those little... Um, bubbles or balls coming out of her head as though they're thoughts uh, so this page was actually inspired completely by that quote it just it popped out at me and um, I thought straight away of sort of bubbles around her head so uh, what I've done is also grabbed this the beautiful butterfly wings um, die cut which is A B M B B C D 132 and I just cut out the plainer butterfly wings in black and um, putting them behind her so um, 
she's a bit of an angel and I've done the same with another die cut which is called Doodle Up which is stencil BM14 so I've just um, cut out a few of the leaves and stuff there as well so you'll notice as I stuck this stuff down I don't stick I kind of put my glue more in the center and I leave the edges a little bit just because I never know if I'm going to tuck underneath so it's nothing worse than ripping it up um, having to pull it up and ripping accidentally ripping it so yeah I just leave a little bit and fill that gap in later once everything's where I want it to be so this is just a matter of trialing out a few bits and pieces and thinking where am I going to pop them so I decide those flowers look a bit cute behind the rose on her head a bit like a headdress and then the little blossoms and blooms are um, coming out underneath as well. Oh, I did miss a step that you might have seen me do. It is putting um, some little circles in the background with stamp called Dotty, A-B-M-E-S stamp 78. So I just did, just to go with the whole bubble circular theme, I just put a few in the background with black archival ink. Oh, losing my voice, sorry. So now we are, I am sticking down um, those little bits. I've worked out where I want them. And you might see I come in and stick down some little edges that might be sticking up as well. Okay, so now it's time to make her stand up off the page. So she's my focal point. So what I'm doing is I've grabbed a black paint pen. I've started with a thicker one and I'm going around all the outline. So around her dress and around the circles that are around her head. And this just helps bring it off of the page a little bit. So now I've gone in with a finer paint pen again in black and I'm just adding some scribbly lines just to make it um, look like join all together this part really does make a difference using the two different um, sizes in your paint pens will make a big difference so then I've grabbed a my quote which started it all um, a b m b b s t i c o four I couldn't decide between black or white I love that in Marlene's stickers you get both so you can choose I ended up going with white and I will make sure that I outline that um, so it stands out off the page. So yeah, change your thoughts and you will change your world. It's very, very true. So now I'm going back into my golden oldie book and there's lots and lots and lots of little mini circles in there um, scattered all over the place. So I've just grabbed a few and I'm gluing them on so that they're sort of coming off of her head and down over the quote. So... Um, yeah just gluing them on with the glue pen and now as I said I'm outlining the quote and what I will also do is outline those little circles so just popping my paint pen around the edges and I'll also doodle in a few little circles as well now you might notice as I move around that I haven't stuck down the butterfly wings I've stuck them underneath the dress but I've left them to to flap up so they kind of look like they're flying and just gives a bit of interest to the page so now I am coming in with my Stabilo all pencil in black and this is a, like a watercolor base so I'm just creating a shadow particularly more around the right hand side of her um, and a little bit on the left as well it just will make those everything pop and then I'm coming in with a white gel pen and just adding a few touches of highlights here and there, a few little dots. And that really just pops the last bit into the page. So I think I'm done. Oh, you can keep doodling forever, but yes, I do think I'm done. So I will stand back and take a look. And coming up, you will see lots of close-ups. And of course, the colours are quite different because these are taken in daylight, whereas I did create this page at night. So thanks for joining me. Um, so many options in that extra, extra large book. Love you to play along. Um, I'd also love you to subscribe and even leave me a comment.